What is going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Run show. I hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say I hope everybody had a very happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas if you do celebrate. Hopefully you guys were able to spend some very quality time with both friends and family and hopefully you did it in a very safe way. Now I mentioned in a previous video if you guys were wondering why I haven't really been posting recently, I was in Jamaica on vacation for the Christmas week. Had a fantastic time. It's extremely, extremely beautiful there. And if any of you guys ever get the chance to go to Jamaica, I definitely suggest doing that. Beautiful, beautiful place. But I am back to posting regularly on YouTube, so definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs to make sure you stick around for all the amazing content that we do post. Today though, we're gonna be breaking down, are the Brooklyn Nets the best team in the NBA? Now I know extremely early in the season, lock could still go right or wrong for the Brooklyn Nets. At the time that I'm filming this video, they're only two games in. I'm filming this before they play Charlotte tonight. So we're just gonna be breaking down their first two games and I'll be giving you my opinions sort of on what I've seen so far. So Brooklyn Nets, like I said, 2-0 so far at the time of me filming this video. They played their first game against the Golden State Warriors, which they score, which they won by a score of 125 to 99. This offense looks absolutely electric. It has in both of the games so far. And this looks like a very, very balanced, really, really quality, at least offensive team, if they can all stay healthy. You know, addition, obviously, of their big two guys, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, they have this year, added DeAndre Jordan. Still got Karis LeVert on the bench and obviously Spencer Dinwiddie, Joe Harris to round out their starting lineup. Um, but Kevin Durant looked really, really good in his first game. 25 minutes, 22 points. He had five rebounds, three assists as well. And, you know, I haven't really mentioned it on the channel because I haven't really covered too much NBA regard, uh, you know, with the exception of the NBA draft. But in my opinion, Kevin Durant, when he's healthy, is the best, at least scorer, if not the best overall player in the league now i feel like not a lot of people remember you know how good kevin durant really was uh before his injury obviously he missed the entirety of last season but also his reputation sort of as that top player in the league has sort of been diminished after he you know played for that warrior super team but kevin durant fantastic scorer fantastic all-around player and i think he's really the backbone of this team you know even though you could argue kyrie's been better so far in the first two games I think, you know, Kevin Durant, what he can do on the offensive side of the ball is what has made this team so successful and what is making Kyrie look like an even better player right now. Again, Kevin Durant, absolutely fantastic. Kyrie Irving played 25 minutes. He had 26 points. Um, probably with the exception of Trey Young has been the second best player so far in the league this season. You know, absolutely fantastic. Um, 26 points, four rebounds, four assists he had in that game. Exactly what the Knicks need at the point guard position. Again, he, he's a lot similar to Kevin Durant. I feel like a lot of people forgot about Kyrie last year. Um, but if we go back to sort of what he did, you know, with his days with LeBron and, and the Cavs, a lot of people would have thought of him as one of the top point guards, one of the cl clutchest players in the NBA. But again, I feel like he's sort of taken a step back in some previous years, but I think that he's in a fantastic position this year to really get that reputation back. Again, I think he looks fantastic besides Kevin Durant. And again, looking like one of the top players this year so far in the NBA. Also added DeAndre Jordan, only four points in 17 minutes, but he had 11 rebounds. Obviously, you know, one of the best rebounders in the league. That's why they have him, not to score the points, but you know, just to, to clean up possessions on the defensive side of the ball, you know, potentially get you some extra looks on offense. And he, he did his job. Dinwiddie, nine points. Joe Harris, 10 points. And then obviously you move Karis Levert to the bench. He still played 25 minutes off of the bench for them, put in 20 points. Obviously we saw what Karis Levert um, did in the bubble. It was absolutely fantastic, you know, with a very injured Brooklyn Nets team. Um, definitely looked really quality there. Um, and obviously a Michigan guy, so I'm a big Karis LeVert fan as well. But Nets looked absolutely fantastic in their first game. Let's move on to their second game. They played the Boston Celtics. They took that one a score of 123 to 95. And again, put up a ton of points. Second game with plus 120 points. And they did it against a very, very solid Boston Celtics team who, you know, could easily finish, 
you know, top four, top three in the Eastern Conference. So not an easy game by any means, especially to start the season. And a team who is just coming off a win um, against the Milwaukee Bucks. But again, Kevin Durant, 33 minutes, 29 points. He was fantastic. Tallied on four rebounds, three assists. Again, Kevin Durant is a legit scorer, and he's going to make people remember that this year. Kyrie Irving, 37 points in 33 minutes. Again, like I was saying, definitely looks a lot better this year. We're seeing more sort of like a vintage Kyrie, looking like he can lead a team, had six rebounds, eight assists as well, getting people involved, doing exactly what the Brooklyn Nets need at that point guard position. DeAndre Jordan, seven rebounds, again, only four points. Um, and then you had Karis LeVert tallying on another 10 points from the bench. This is, you know, a very legit team. They're deep. They have the guys off the bench. Um, you know, Allen as well added nine points off the bench. They're guys who can beat you in a lot of ways. They look really, really solid offensively not terrific defensively but two blowout wins the brooklyn nets are definitely a team to look out for in the eastern conference now we come to the question are the brooklyn nets the best team in the nba it's tough you know lakers look fantastic fantastic in the western conference obviously lebron anthony davis two guys who are projected to be you know first team all nba guys you have you know the clippers with Kawhi, with paul george you, you know, they, they struggled at the end of last season, but obviously an extremely talented team. Su two superstars, and if Paul George can, you know, take that step up. They also added, you know, Serge Ibaka. A lot better of a team this year in the Western Conference. I, I think that they're better than the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, you know, Giannis Middleton played fantastic on Christmas, but I think that the Brooklyn Nets could could beat them. I don't think they have much competition in the Eastern Conference. I would obviously like the Raptors, you know, to be in that conversation being from Toronto, but the Raptors have not looked great this uh, season either. And I don't think a team like the 76ers or the Pacers um, will give the Nets any competition in the playoffs. Um, so it'd be the Lakers or the Clippers. Um, I'd probably still lean to taking the Lakers first, but the Brooklyn Nets are right there. I just need to see a bit more from them, um, so I wouldn't be able to say that they're the best team right now until probably midway through the season. But again, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. Are the Brooklyn Nets the best team in the NBA? If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for more content just like this. Again, I'm back from my vacation from Jamaica, and I'm going to be posting again regularly, so definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around for more content just like this. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.